Hello everyone, welcome to Rachel Pickler Yoga. Just in case we haven't met before, my name is Rachel. Today we're doing a nice full body flow, so find a little bit of space to move and let's get started. So let's begin today in a comfy seat, maybe sitting cross-legged. You can bring your hands to your knees and lengthen through your spine. And then we're just gonna start to turn our chest towards the right side. Maybe your left hand can find your right knee. You can stay sitting nice and tall. You could, leading with your shoulder, start to bring that left shoulder down towards your left knee. And then maybe your right arm will reach up and over for a side stretch. And then using an inhale, just to lift slowly back up to the twist with the spine nice and long. And then turning your chest back to face forwards. If you're crossing your legs, let's cross them the other way. Lengthen the spine again, start to turn the chest towards the left. Maybe the right hand moves towards the left knee. Maybe you stay here, maybe you take a little tip towards that right knee, and then maybe your left arm starts to reach up, and maybe over, and then using an inhale to find your way back up into that twist, long spine, and then slowly bringing your chest to face forwards again. You can uncross your legs or just bring your knees towards your chest, maybe taking a rock side to side from here. And then we'll make our way into tabletop onto our hands and knees, spreading the fingers out nice and wide, maybe taking your hips for a little bit of a sway side to side. And then tucking your toes under, we can lift up and into downward facing dog when you're ready for it. Pushing into the hands, maybe pedaling through the feet. But a nice deep breath in and a deep breath out. Take a nice big inhale here and exhale. Start to look to your feet if you aren't already. And then we're gonna walk our hands back towards them, all the way back towards our feet. And once you get as close as you're gonna get, start to inhale and lift your chest halfway up. As you exhale, fold back down, bend your knees so that you can plant your hands and start to walk them back into your downward dog. Now looking at your feet again, you might move them out a little wider than they are, maybe to the edges of your mat, turning the toes in slightly maybe, pushing into your hands. Take a second to let the chest get a bit heavier. Looking at your feet or between your feet, start to walk your hands back towards them. Maybe they end up between the feet because your feet are a little bit on the wide side. Bend your knees a little bit though, and then lengthen the legs and maybe take a peek between the knees, and then start to bend the knees more so that you can plant your hands and walk them back towards the top, back into your downward facing dog. And then one more chance here to take the feet even wider. You might end up off of your mat. Maybe the toes are pointing in slightly. Let the chest get heavy. Look between the feet, start to walk your hands back towards the bottom of your mat. Take a moment to maybe bend the knees, maybe lengthen the legs, maybe try to take a peek between the knees. Maybe tuck your chin towards your collarbone. Bend your knees so much though so that you can plant your hands again and walk them back to the top of your mat. And then maybe you'll step, maybe you'll heel toe your feet all the way back in, maybe all the way together, big toes touching, where you can lift your heels nice and high, come onto the balls of the feet, and then start to bend your knees 
Bring your knees all the way down to your mat so that you end up in a toe squat. So maybe your feet are together, your knees are together. Maybe you're walking your hands back towards your legs again. If you want to take a seat on the heels for a moment, you can definitely do that too. But just here for breath. And then our hands are going to come back down to the ground. Spread the fingers wide. Come off of your toes. Give them a little shake or a little tap on the ground. If your knees are together, you can bring them hip width apart again. Tuck the toes back under when you're ready, though. And lift into your downward facing dog. Take an inhale to look forwards this time. And as you exhale, walk your feet to the top of your mat. Once you get there, inhale for a half lift. Exhale, folding forwards. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach up. Exhale, let your arms fall to your sides. Take a shoulder roll here. As you inhale, reach up again. And exhale, folding back down. Inhale for a half lift. Exhale to fold forwards. Inhale all the way up to standing, reaching up. Exhale, let your arms fall to your sides. Take a shoulder roll. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, fold back down. Inhale half lift exhale fold this time plant your hands and step your feet back into your downward facing dog take a moment to push into your hands send your hips high one more inhale as you exhale lower your knees down set up your tabletop you can rest on the top of the feet now we're going to be reaching our arms in front. You can be on your palms or you can be on your fingertips. Keeping the palms lifted, lengthening through the arms though, hips staying high and just letting the chest kind of melt down a little. Your puppy dog butt, your chest might be a little higher if your palms are lifted and you can kind of lift up with the chest and melt it down and push into your fingers maybe feeling them warm up a little you can lift your chest again and then maybe melt it down one more time and then slowly lift and walk your hands back under your shoulders onto your palms if you were on your fingertips maybe take a little sway of your hips aside to side. Tuck your toes again and lift your knees into your downward facing dog. Now just a moment here to maybe come onto the fingertips of one hand, the palm of the other, and then maybe switching sides and then maybe doing both. Now, send the hips high, push into the hands, or maybe it's the fingertips. So you're making that nice V shape, your downward facing dog. Ideally, your shoulders are not over top of your hands. Too much weight. Send them back towards your feet. If you are on your fingertips, come off of them. Plant your palms again. Push into them even more. Look to your feet feet, tuck your chin towards your collarbone, and then use an inhale to gaze forwards. Exhale, walk your feet to the top of your mat. Once you get there, inhale for a half lift. Exhale to fold. Inhale, come all the way up to standing, reaching up, and exhale, let your arms fall down to your sides. Now, we can step our feet hip width apart, to start, maybe, toes pointing forwards. We're gonna fold forwards with our upper body though. Lengthen your spine, bend your knees and start to fold. You can let your arms dangle. You could take your peace fingers and wrap them around your toes. Maybe bending the knees, maybe lengthening the legs more, maybe taking a peek between the knees. And if you are holding on to your big toes, push them into your fingers. 
And then relax and take your fingers off of your toes. Bend your knees more so you can inhale into a half lift. Exhale to fold again. Inhale, come all the way up to standing. Reach up. Exhale, lower your arms down to your side. Step your feet out wider than they are. Maybe mat width. Turn the toes in slightly or at least facing forwards. Take an inhale to lengthen the spine. And then as you exhale, you can fold maybe with some nice bent knees to start. Maybe your arms dangle down. Maybe you wrap your fingers around your big toes again. Maybe you bend the knees more and then lengthen the legs again. Maybe you take a peek between the knees. You are holding onto your big toes. Push your toes into your fingers. And then relax, let go of your feet. Take an inhale to come all the way up to standing. Nice and slow. We're going to do that one more time. Maybe the feet coming out even wider, but toes pointing forwards, maybe even in slightly. Inhale, lengthen your spine. If you want to stay standing a little longer, please do. And if you're ready to tip forwards, you can start to tip forwards. A chance again to maybe try to wrap your peace fingers around your toes. Let your upper body be heavy. Maybe taking a peek up towards the hip. You're holding your big toes, push into them. And then relax, release, bring your hands somewhere, maybe bending the knees a little, and then lifting all the way back up to standing. You can step or heel toe your feet back in. You can find the top of your mat if you turned and moved. Roll your shoulders back and down though, and then with an inhale, reach up, exhale, folding forwards, inhale, half lift, exhale to fold, plant your hands, step your feet all the way back into your downward dog. Let's bring our feet nice and close together again, lift the heels high on the balls of the feet, start to bend the knees all the way to the ground, keeping the toes tucked. Maybe one more toe squat. Letting your shoulders fall from your ears and maybe smiling. I can't help it. Every time we come into a toe squat, a toe squat I smile. <laughs> if you have your hands lifted though, bring them back down. Back into your tabletop. I like to smile on tabletop too sometimes. <laughs> Come off of your toes, give them a little shake, maybe a little love tap, and then you can cross your ankles, sit down. If you'd like to give your knees a little bit of a hug or squeeze, take a nice rock side to side maybe. Just check in how you are feeling so far. And then we're going to come back into our cross-legged seat, lengthening the spine, trying that side twist again. Lengthen the spine. You can start to turn your chest to the right. Left hand might reach for the right knee. Stay here if you'd like. Maybe lead with your shoulder and tip over. Maybe reach your arm up and over. Using an inhale to lift yourself back up to the twist with a nice long spine. 
And then maybe we'll actually tip towards the right knee and lift up again slowly. Turn your chest to face forwards. Cross your legs the other way. Lengthening through the spine again. You can start to turn your chest to the left. Maybe reach for your knee. Stay here if you'd like. Or tip over. And maybe reach up. And using an inhale to come back up into the nice, long, strong spine and the twist. <laughs> and if you want to tip towards your knee and then just lift up again, turn your chest to face forwards. You can uncross your legs, give your knees another squeeze, rock side to side. And then we can lay down on our backs. <clears throat> Maybe hugging your knees towards your chest once you lay down. Maybe adding a gentle sway side to side. Maybe you will end up with the knees out a little wider. Maybe reaching for the feet for happy baby. Maybe holding your big toes again with your peace fingers. You have your feet or your big toes. Start to bring them back together so that you can let go of them. Bring your knees together too. Maybe take another rock side to side. Eventually letting your feet come down to the ground. And just heel toe your feet out a little bit wider, letting your knees tip together so you feel a little rotation through the hips. Allowing the breath to slow down. Become effortless again. You have your knees tipping together. You can open them up a little. Heel toe your feet a little closer together. So you're just back in a neutral place with your hips. You can start to extend your legs out long one at a time, maybe bringing the feet out a little bit wider though. And just resting your arms somewhere comfy. Maybe your hands are on your belly. As always, staying here in Shavasana for as long as you have time for today. Thank you for joining me. Enjoy the rest of your day. And until next time, 
Namaste.